back again for the, what yeah will will be the last assassin's creed brotherhood stream on here and then obviously i will start assassin's creed revelations probably right away after brotherhood finishes so hang on <coughs> one second Okay, yep, there we go. Just just, just munch that quickly. <laughs> yep, so there's one thing I want to check before I start. Apparently for the Christina missions you actually had to you had to have a certain amount percentage wise to unlock them, but I have no idea what the the required amount is to get the last one. But anyway, Let's stop this, shall we? How did you find me? The apple you stole from Mario Alvitore, let me hear. And here we go. Kill him! Kill the assassin! Tear the Martito Bastardo to pieces! He's a coward. Actually, finish it this time. Fifteen oh seven. I need munitions. Right. Come on, Ponzi. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. Oh, you better give the horse its final rights. Rolling restricted area. I'm on a battlefield. I can't imagine there's not a. Failed. Get off. Let's try that for a little bit. That area will never be available. Oh, 
Come on. Ooh. Hit him. Thank you. I don't... What was the point of killing her? Oh god, I hate these guys. At least they make them slightly easier to kill this time. I don't give a shit. I'll kill. I'll kill everyone here if I have to. you are. He attacks me once and then realizes, oh shit, this guy. I don't both get it. They're wearing... Why are those two fighting? Whatever. Oh my god. Look at these bodies. Oh, there he is, you say, and then tries to run away. And slaughter, I don't care at this point. Anyone else? Yeah, I didn't think so. No. Oh boy, I've lost my mercy for the moment. up the burning tower. No, don't go back down, you stupid idiot. No, up, up, go up, I burnt. My God, I hate you. Go up a burning tower, not down it. I promise you, it's a little safer that way. Well, I don't think it's any safer at all. I think the reverse would be a uh, So what's this fire about? I have no idea. 
or whatever. Oh, my sword came back out. It's funny to think those guys would have been kids to, when Etio was, you know, first starting out. Going by their age. Ah, I see you. There. All right, really good shit at this point. Yeah. Well, I did you a favor, you stupid fuck. Run from me. I am Batman if Batman was a killer. How many of those have I got left? Better use those sparingly now. So I'm confused who's fighting who and why. The, um, do not drop below five health squares. Okay. Cesare, the walls surround you. There is nowhere to run. Come then, Ezio. I cannot die. Fortuna will not fail me. Oh. I am the best fighter who ever lived. Stay no, back. you're not. You're not even the fifth best fighter. Switch to a sword, shall we? What do you mean, witness the fight? The fight is right happening right in front of you, you blind git. The throne. 
alone was mine. Wanting something does not make it your right. What do you know? That a true leader empowers the people he rules. I will lead mankind into a new world. Can the Suno record you do no? Requiesca in pace. You cannot kill me. No man can murder me! Then I leave you in the hands of fate. Well, I would have just stabbed him a few times, to be honest. I mean, that was cool, like, I'll leave the you in the hands of fate. Mine. What do you know? I will lead mankind into a new world. You cannot kill me. No man can murder me! Oh yeah, it takes the skin off now, doesn't it? I have butchered that obviously, but that's obviously the sequence nine chapter. And I've more or less finished, bro. Let's go. We can be there before dawn. Wait, there was something about that door. I don't think I saw a handle. Let me run an analysis. Great. So we need some kind of futuristic key. It seems to open with a verbally triggered mechanism. I've never seen anything like it. You mean it needs a password? Try humming Beethoven's fifth. Damn European power grid. Now we can't scan Ezio's memories to find the password. Hmm, I wonder what the password could be. We have to find that password. Ezio knows the answer. Problem is, he's dead. Can't believe we're stuck here. Hey, maybe it has something to do with this. <coughs> Symbol matches the one on the door to the vault. 1419, 1420, 1421. What if they aren't dates? 1419, 1420. Oh my god. What? God. Tell us already. I am. I am. I am. The Tetragrammaton. The 72 names of God. You see? They're all contained within three verses. Exodus 19 through 21. And get this, you'll like this. If you arrange the four Hebrew letters in God's name within an equilateral triangle, their numerical values add up to the same number. 72. Are you absolutely sure about this? That's kind of why I'm saying it out loud, Rebecca. Yeah, but I haven't got to the kicker yet. Construction on the Colosseum began in the year 72. I think we have our password. Sean, go get the van. I bet. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about us, eh? You might actually need a historian down there. Sean's right. That tunnel should lead under Capitoline Hill. 
I'll help them find another entrance. Be careful, Desmond. I'll drive. Ah, yeah, nice try. I've seen your car. So this takes a little bit of time from what I remember. <clears throat> Probably not going to be quite an hour, obviously, but still. Just try and remember exactly, well, not exactly what I did, what you, what you have to do, but it takes a little Lucy, while. I'm making my way toward the entrance. Okay, good. If you see any gladiators, my advice would be leg it. I'll keep that in mind. Now what? Uh, do I just jump down? I forget. Doesn't seem like there'd been easy. Well, no, actually, that would suggest that I can get back up that way, which would mean I'm not supposed to go up that way. I'm supposed to go up this. Nope, don't mind. <sighs> oh well, I don't know. Nothing. Okay. Checkpoint reached. I can't believe I'm actually going to hold the apple. It's been a long time coming. You've earned it. I wonder if it'll change things. Whether it can tip the scales in our favor. I'm sure it will. It has to. Well, I wonder if that means <laughs> Lucy's a lying bitch. It's not, I don't know. What do you think we'll find? Hopefully a map to the temple. The apple's just gonna give it to us, is it? Yeah? Or is that Elvis over there? Hey, maybe this time we'll be lucky. See, that's what made me think Assassin's Creed 3 was going to be it. No, no, not it too. Desmond looking for going to different temples, you know, in modern day. No, I was slightly wrong. See, there was some modern day Desmond um, bits in that game, but not the way I would invite, I hoped for. I was really looking forward to a Desmond modern day Assassin's Creed and I think I'm just going back in circles haven't I? I've gone yeah okay yeah I've just gone in a circle basically Which way am I supposed to be going? This way, that's the way I'm supposed to be going. So much construction. This place is like a maze. The hypergene housed the cages of the gladiators. Oh, 
gladiators and, and the machine which raised them to the surface. The whole area you're in right now was originally covered by the arena. Good to know. Checkpoint. in a second <laughs> like that oh Why is today so important? We're just picking up the apple and leaving. It's the door code. Someone wants to make sure we get it right. Yeah, I guess. Let's stop, man. Just stop the. Try to remember if the Assassin's Creed. Free, they managed to actually stop that launch or postponed it. I can't remember exactly. Okay, back on familiar ground. Now what? Oh, okay. to this space the epilogue of our ending let it be found by he who is deemed worthy let it guide him let it shape his path forward let it save the world we leave behind who are you do you know what's going on Desmond? nothing again it feels like with Juno they wrote one thing in mind and then change their mind closer to Assassin's Creed 3. I get that feeling, especially with um, the ending of Revelation. So they, they, at no point does Jupiter say, "Oh, by the way, don't trust Juno." You know, he acts like they were all working together. Hap well, I don't know how how happily, but certainly all working trying to prevent the second end of the world. to stone, to the memory of men. These proved impermanent things, cleansed by fire, cleansed by famine, cleansed by flood. All the world is innocent once more, innocent and ignorant.
Coming. Took you long enough. What is this place? Santa Maria and Aquelli. See those columns along the aisles? They're lifted from Roman ruins. Now, supposedly, this church was built on top of the ancient temple of Juno. I like the ceiling. Do you? You like the ceiling? Oh. You are a fascinating traveling companion. Trying to remember. There's something up there. Oh, well, we'll just stay down here then, shall we? Pray or something. Yeah, if you want. Not sure who you'd be praying to at this point. Obviously, the the ones that are sealed are the pieces of Eden we're going for now, aren't they? No! <sighs> At least Desmond doesn't get killed. That does mean running back every time he misses. Jumps on this are too. You have to be way too precise sometimes. And then sometimes the jump command can be oversensitive. Again, at least I don't have to worry about dying and having to. Fuck's sake! Uh... I can't be angry again. I try not to, but it's just those moments of like. I'm doing the exact same thing I did the last time, but apparently Desmond overshot it or undershot it, whatever. <laughs> Whichever one would apply it. Oh, again. It's a good thing I'm not trying to speed run this. It's 
So I can even change directions. Thank you. Oh, way back up. Something's open. Most, not all, and it does not take many to unwind the world. Here is a safe place, eternal, to store objects, words, wisdom, but not life. Almost did we have the means, but time, time erodes us. We can distract him, we can see past him, faint left when he strikes right, but his reach is so very long, his stamina unending. We cannot evade his grasp, not forever. So time's a guy apparently? No, <sighs> stupid dip. At least there's a ladder this time. Why does he? Why do you think this might take nearly an hour? Because the jumping mechanics in this game, they most of the time they can be good, but when you get segments like this, they can be horrible. Especially when he just sort of turns sometimes. Oh my god. Can I jump back? No, I get the feeling I won't be able to. And he doesn't have double jump. Apparently he didn't learn that. In the entirety he's been in, in Ezio's Timeline, he hasn't learnt double jump. Oh, his leg looks weird like that. Could have just ran back up, shouldn't I? Because that would have been faster at this point. It's the principle of it all. Which is, I have no idea what the principle of this is. Oh my god, can I not just climb up? Oh, this was then running up, <laughs> then running up, running and taking the stairs would have been quicker, would have been much quicker. Oh my god, uh, you know what? Just fucking drop. I remember hating this segment when it when I did it seven years ago. I really hate it now. I can't help but think this could have just been a cutscene now. Instead they're making me play a segment that, in all honesty, there we go, has no real purpose. No, we've turned too many times. Okay, now I just need to do that. What? He went right, oh, I hate this segment. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <sighs> he didn't grab it, he just went through it instead. Look, we didn't get up. <sighs> when this is over, I can be glad, glad I don't think there's any segment like this in Revelations. Please make the jump. Yes. Good. You actually made it this time. Oh, God. 
I don't feel like I'm going to make this jump. I did. Good. I think I would have screamed if I'd failed that. Here goes. Dead end. I'm not so sure. Mate, you're gonna have to try a little harder than that. I only really want, really want to kill one of you. We're here. At her. Now for that password. If Sean's right, that is. I'm always right. About that dead end. That never happened. I was misquoted. Speaks English. Just say it. Hey. Seventy two. Seems to be in the center. Time to find out where those temples are. No, not really. Hey, Jesmond, those beats poking out the walls are like switches. If you hit all of them, you might get some power to the central platform. Or you might cause this room to turn into an alien spaceship and fly away. A hundred years I might speak and still you would not kill us. You get five senses. Us with six. The one we kept from you. Oh crap. To be safe. Now you can never know. Only try. Grasp. You can see, smell, taste, touch, hear. Knowledge has been locked away. Am I supposed to do this again? Oh, okay. After, when the world became undone, we tried to pass it through. Tried to join you to us. You feel the mission. You hear the words. But you do not know. You 
she's not very happy. It is hard to stay contained, knowing as we do. We wait for you, Desmond. You will come here. You will activate it. You will know only when it is too late. Did you hear any of that? The hell? Oh. Oh, okay. I basically went backwards, did I? Okay, have I just gone back in the row? Oh, okay. Okay. Did I did it. I can't believe Hmm. This is almost over, look Lucy. The lies we you spread will end soon. So where are the temples? Me to ask it or think it or something. You sure you asked it the right thing? I know this, I know that symbol. That that's a Phrygian cap. It stands for freedom, and that that's a Masonic eye. Now those two come together in only one place. What's happening? I can't move. Your DNA communes with the apple. You have activated it. Yep. Let me go. Nope. On the 72nd day before the moment of awakening, you, birthed from our loins and the loins of our enemies, the end and the beginning, who we abhor and honor, the final journey commences. There is one who would accompany you through the gate. She lies not within our sight. The cross darkens the horizon. Do it. The path must be opened. You cannot escape your part in this. The scales shall be balanced. I'm not fighting it this time. Why would I? Stop! Please! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her. Agree. Kill her. No. Yes. It is done. The way lies all before you. Only she remains to be found. I'm guessing Awaken Eve. The sixth. Go alone. But obviously, I feel like they wrote one thing in mind and then decided, you know what, let's just go with some other bullshit. And that is Brotherhood. What 
there was going to be some... No? You're not going to have any words to say put back in the animus? See, I think... Uh, Shit, he's gone into shock. Put him back in the machine. It's the only way to fix this. But the Animus did this to it. Am I the expert or not? Do it. No. I have no idea whose voices they were. Can I just skip the, tro the credits now? I can, good. Oh, no. No, okay. I just want. Hang on, what's that? Look? Yeah, okay. I just want to see if the Christina <laughs> mission is loaded up. If it has, I might do that quickly and then start Revelations. But if it hasn't, then screw it, I'll just start Revelations. Obviously, now you can't come out the animus. That's what it'd be like now. Since obviously that's going to be a plot point for the next game. So I think now you'll get to unlock the cheats. I can't remember. We had a funny thing that happened here. Uh, it's funny, but I also feel, feel kind of sad. Um, so, sitting at the computer, and suddenly hear this noise, hear thump against the balcony window door. Oh, what was that? Go to the balcony, can't see anything. Our cat is looking down the balcony onto the ground below. I have a look down below and see a pigeon. It's basically, well, it was laying face down. I'm not sure if it died or if it, I think it was basically dead. But it was just a, oh, the, the sudden, that's not happened before. And I was just surprised that the poor pigeon had obviously flown right into the window of the glass. Now, I know he was there for a while, but then he seems to have disappeared. So I don't know if he died or if he's, uh, well, sorry, I don't know if he's died or if he's just been carried away or maybe he just knocked himself out. I don't know, but I couldn't see the corpse, shall we just say. 
after like an hour. But then to be fair, about an hour later it was getting a bit dark. So I don't know if it, that's the other reason, but I suppose we'll find out tomorrow morning when we look out the window and either it's there or it's not there, then I can either assume one of several things. But uh, yeah, it was just a thump and fall to the floor. It looked like it was face down drunk as well. That was the thing. But I also felt a bit bad because it's like, oh, I bet it died. But it wasn't our fault, but it's just, I, it's not our fault in any way <laughs> in the slightest, but I still felt bad if it managed to kill itself like that. It's like, oh, I feel bad. The cat was like, oh, I wish it had fallen onto the balcony here rather than to the ground below. Unfortunately for him, unfortunately for him, he didn't get his pit and treat, shall we just say. Like, I've definitely heard stories like that before um, with other people. My favourite one was apparently a pheasant did it to a friend of mine years ago. A pheasant apparently <laughs> apparently flew flew right into the window and broke its neck. So I'm not entirely sure how that story ends. But it was just the fact that it was a pheasant that did it. That sounds such a like a posh story. We get pigeons, my friends get pheasants. Oh these credits take long. Can I just... No, okay. I was hoping if I push start. Last time the credits were skippable. In this game, and I believe Revelations and certainly Assassin's Creed 3, they're not skippable. Assassin's Creed 3 was the, like the worst offender for the credit length because apart from the fact that I hated that ending for Assassin's Creed 3, I just wanted to skip the credits but they took ages. And maybe they dragged because how disappointed I was feeling at the time, but certainly took ages for the damn credits to end. And I, I haven't really played an Assassin's Creed game there since then. I've got Syndicate, I've started Syndicate, but I played like an hour or two, and I've never got around to playing anymore, and that was around Christmas. Well, that was around Christmas, because my sister got for me for Christmas. And I... I might play it at some point, but I'm in no hurry. I just found the Assassin's Creed 3 ending to be... Well, I found the... That's the thing, when Revelations was ending, I was pumped. I was like, Ezio's story is done, Altier's story is done. Desmond is trained up, he's ready to, to be an assassin himself. Ready to find the temple, or we found the temple technically, and you know, find a way to save the Earth. I was pumped. And then they announced the next game, Assassin's Creed 3, all get good, Assassin's Creed 3, not Assassin's Creed with some other title, but 3. It's a new, it's a new ancestor of Desmond. Oh, why? And that's basically where the disappointment began for me. I was really looking forward to a new Assassin's Creed, Desmond is the main lead, he's completed his training, go! And no, we didn't, we didn't get that. We get segments, but I didn't want segments, I wanted full Desmond gameplay. Unfortunately, that's not what we got. Now, if they had done the reverse and had segments of a uh, new, or a new ancestor, I could have lived with that. A bit like how, obviously in Revelations, uh, Ezio watches some small bits of Altair's life through those um, botanical keys. That would have been fine for me if Desmond had done that for Connor, I think, the, the assassin for number three was. 
but then the majority of the game had been Desmond. I didn't really care for Connor that much. And because the ending for me, the three is just awful. But I think the thing that sort of annoyed me was like, I think someone from Ubisoft said, "Oh, we're not sure how we we would do a modern day Assassin's Creed. We we we're not sure how it would work. Why not?" That seems like a lazy excuse to me. You clearly got great ambitious ideas and then probably plenty of ways you could have done a modern day set of assassin Assassin's Creed game, you know? I mean if you really wanted to do it, do it like watchdogs. Minus or maybe even maybe even including the uh usually hacking, but still. To say Oh, we're not sure how we would do it, kind of thing. That that seems a bit lazy. But then again, I'm not the one writing stories or coming up with ideas, so you know, maybe I should just zip it. I realise, but still. Uh, here people like Black Flag but again for me coming right off Assassin's Creed 3 with a disappointing ending and the fact that Black Flag was basically a pirate game and you obviously you use your ship and stuff for that and they're saying oh it's more of the things that people like from Assassin's Creed 3 but that segment I actually those segments from the game I hate it personally it's not for me so what was the point of, <laughs> what would be the point of me buying Assassin's Creed 4? So yeah, I didn't, I've not played it. I'm not entirely sure what even happens in that game, or any of the new ones really. I have some idea what happens here in Unity. But I, I will admit the Unity trailer, cinematic trailer for that looked really good. But at the time of its release, I didn't have a PlayStation 4, so I never got round to buying it. And basically, all the all the game bugs in that in that game put me off ever buying it. So I haven't. Plus, I think you need a lot. I'm not, again, I've never played, but apparently, you needed a lot of online for that, which I don't really do. On I don't really like to do games with on that requires a lot of online uh, gameplay. I'm not so sure if I'm going to get Origins or not. I think I have to wait to see what the final reviews say about that. And even then, that's a that's definitely a um, I feel like I don't know I don't want to get basically I don't want to get my hopes up and then get them completely dashed see I assumed the assassins was started by Altair's mentor but apparently, no, it wasn't. Something I've never quite understand, understood about Altair's mentor. Was he also at Templar? I can never remember. I have to look it up. But they act like he wasn't. I'm not sure. Again, I'd have to look it up. It's been a while, it's been a long while since I've played Assassin's Creed. Very long time.
God, are these credits still going on? Nope, I can't skip them. <sighs> I get it, you want people to... I get it, you want people to know who worked on the game, but some of these people I've looked at is like... The account manager. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Next you'll be seeing the janitors on here. Just make skippable credits. This isn't like the Avengers where I'm waiting for credits to get some end bit snippet. I just wanna see I just wanna see if the Christine five Christina missions up. But I won't be able to find out until this ends. I just want to start Revelations if it isn't there. And if it is there, then I'll play the mission. It's like 10 minutes tops, if I remember correctly. I should have started a counter to see how long this takes. Although, given that we're getting to that, I imagine we're at the almost end. Or at the end. Nearly at the end. Havoc. Justin Screw the Ezio Collection uses Havoc. Yep. Okay. Oh, and I just realised they've added new stuff to these credits. Because I just saw the copyright 2016, so it means they've actually added stuff to credits to these games. Oh, whoops. A knife to the heart. Oh, good. I got the accomplishment for it. 30 points. And obviously the exit the animus is now. Oh, yep, there is no memory of Christina available. Let's do that then. It'll take me about 10 minutes. I felt like because I'd done all the other ones, I might as well finish that little storyline. Ooh, 50,000 botticles. And you can't go out the, um, can you? Nope. Inventory, what's in the inventory? Go back. I don't think there's anything new. Remember what? Okay, so I know which outfits are missing. One is Desmond, and to get Desmond, you have to do a hundred percent in. Is it memory sequence eight? And to get well, the other one, it's um, Raiden skin from Metal Gear Solid Four, and to get that, you have to do. I know it's something in the. Um, it's something in the VR training. Just out of curiosity, and I don't really fancy doing it. But out of curiosity, what? So that one needs basically half the memories of eight. Again, I don't fancy doing it right now, well, ever really, because to be honest, probably after I've finished Christina, I probably won't come back to Brotherhood anytime soon. But where is that Christina? All the way over there. I'm pretty sure it's the last one as well. I mean, I could have sworn when I played this uh, originally, when it, when, it, when it originally came out, I could have sworn I got the um, last Christina mission before this, so I'm. I don't think it comes down to how much sync you have, and I must have. Oh! Yeah, that's right. Because I think I actually did go back prior, before finishing this game, I actually did go back and attempt to. Finish some of the other missions with a hundred percent. I think I even went as far as doing uh, memory sequence eight, which again I don't fancy doing because 
having just played those earlier today and I know how annoyingly difficult they can be so I'm in no hurry to do those which must have raised obviously my synchronization to allow me to do the Christina before obviously now go away uh, so it's not really fancy running all the way back inventory oh. doesn't matter because I'll be I'm pretty sure I'll be in the correct in this skin anyway but just in case I don't like it doesn't it doesn't return me to the spot I was in when I'm doing things like that oh it did this time Oh, good. What happened? Men. Savonarola's men. They came through, destroying everything. Where is Cristina? Alfredo? Where is she? She ran. They went after her. His no! eyes seem to be poked for his. See, like I said, this would make me if I was Ezio be like screw it if he's gonna burn in a fire he can burn in a fire for all I give a shit no one deserves oh I have late nope Oh, we even have the uh... yeah. Okay. Why would you give me blending? It doesn't mean. Really... I mean, obviously, I had blending story-wise. I just realized I have assassin seals, uh, signs even. Something I wouldn't have. Yeah, like I said, I finished this, <laughs> finished the other one, so might as well do this one. That be the way I end, I'll end Brotherhood on a pretty shitty note, but then given how Brotherhood's story ends, that's a pretty shitty note too. Especially if you didn't know um, 
Lucy was a, basically a traitor. Okay, so that is Brotherhood. I, now I will quickly <laughs> quit this and jump to Revelations. And obviously I'm not going to bother in the stream, I'm just literally, well, without actually changing games as it were, but still, changing games. Revelations. Actually, before I do that, yeah, I'm just going to do one thing. I'm going to try the Ubisoft Club. And obviously, you can only hear me, I'm assuming. That's what it just appeared to. So, yeah, yeah, okay. You should change your password. What rewards can I get? For revelation, yeah, all the rewards. Since I have enough points to use on that, Brotherhood supply pack. Extra missions, which I don't really care about, and I think that's basically it. Okay, that's fine. I will just start Revelations as soon as I get out of here. Okay, I should be back now. I am good. Good, good, good. Revelations! Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh. I was thinking about doing dis the Leonardo disappearance, but then I thought, you know what? It doesn't actually matter that much. <coughs> I think the thing you won't get from it is me meeting. Now, it, in the first game, the guy was uh, Claudia's fiance. Then he appears, I think he appears during the Leonardo disappearance and he's obviously still an arsehole. And I know he will appear, appear again in this game. So he technically appears in all three games. But he only appears in the DLC in, in, in the second Ezio game. And obviously that's the um, Subject 16 Claude... Oh, Clay. Clay's his name, isn't it? Um, that's the basically line that Lucy's traitor from, from what I'm thinking of. But anyway, let's actually start Revelations. Yeah, I can't rename that, so let's just leave that. Keep them like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell them we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. Yeah. <laughs> doing our best <laughs> but you remember all this right you remember the animus the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors first you were Altair a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land then you are Ezio Auditore a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge so what do you three have in common that's right, the Apple of Eden. That strange artifact left behind by those people. 
the ones who came before. See, now that doesn't make sense. In Brotherhood, when the game starts, Echo is wearing the Altair armor. Oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. Okay, I shut down the enemy's monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. Welcome to the Matrix. Essentially. What's happening? I can't move. I, I can't. No. For some reason, you've grown a beard. I mean, technically, your co your clothes have also slightly changed colour, but I could Hello? I could chuck that up to. Hang on, can I put subtitles on? That's a bit too bright. So let me just fix my TV as well. Thinking about it, I just realised. Oh. So I can say I could chuck the. Um, Change in his cut in the his outfit's color to like a small glitch in uh, that'll do. Uh, I chucked that into that's like a small glitch in the animus's image processing or something like that. But then why did it give him a beard? Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? What a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca, get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken. I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world! You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there, hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data. You find unfinished memories and you crack them open. Finish what you started until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, Animus can separate Desmond from Mitzio and Altair and send you home, back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. 
what? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It's that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Why has the character model changed so much in such a short time? It looks, I, I realize why parts of them look different, but it looks really different because obviously I was just playing Brotherhood, and obviously I didn't, I wouldn't have noticed it a year apart. But it's Sean. That. Sean, what's going on? Let me talk to him. Did you? Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Sean, what's going on? Sean, what's going on? Sean, it's William. Is everything taken care of? Oh, well, hello to you, too. For Christ's sakes, man, have some class. All right, calm down. Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Lucy's dead, and you want me to act like it's Easter Sunday, do you? How's Desmond, anyway, giving in? That's enough, Sean. What if he's a Templar, Bill? Eh? What if he's been programmed? It's happened before. No. no. <coughs> Desmond. Other right. way around, my friend. You would say that. Sean. Lucy was the Templar. Obviously, they don't know that yet until I wake up. Ruby's of Resents. Oh, yeah. Let's just read really my controller down for a minute. Because it's time for a cutscene! set out from Roma ten months ago. I did so with a single purpose. To discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon.
it's weird to see him looking so old now. I mean, obviously I've played this before, so I... I <coughs> given that we as the player see Ezio from birth to... From his birth to... Well, if you watch Emblems to his death, it's... It feels weird. That's a weird looking sword. <coughs> In a way, this reminds me of... Oh wow, whoops. In a way, this part of the story reminds me of when Solid Snake returns to Shadow Moses after nine years. And you get to see how things have basically changed and not changed. I mean, obviously, it didn't really change, but obviously it's on a newer system um, for obviously Shadow Moses. <coughs> Metal Gear Solid was obviously on the PlayStation 1 and Metal Gear Solid 4 was on the PlayStation 3, so you get to see obviously how it looks different. And I know technically this is uh, This is technically Ezio's first time to hear. Oh yeah, you get to make actual explosives this time. Oh, and we're going to get the hook shot as well. I forget how many things you get in this game. What's this saying on the... Oh, it doesn't say.
like I was saying about brotherhood, it's weird to think from an age difference that these guys probably would have been kids when Ezio was first learning. Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstones? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. Oh, God. Do not fail a single tail. Well, guess what? I'm going to fail... A whole lot of tails, I'm guessing. I actually do like this version of the outfit. I'm not sure why he went with this outfit, but I do like it. felt like they had to point me in the opposite direction. Oh boy. Damn it. Ha, ha, ha. 
me a power of Sukamo! None of you leave until the assassin is dead! Do you understand? Ignore me, Kirill. But he seems to have found us. I think this is like one of the only times there is a horse you can use in this game. Well, I see use. You don't obviously use him, but still. being a problem the last time. They move so fast. Oh boy. Nope. Decent for that host. <clears throat> Glad it didn't take long. And obviously it starts all the way from the game. I can't. No, I can't. But I seem to be climbing this a bit faster than the last time, so. Ah! Good, I seem to have survived, I think.
One, two segments you actually have to control the horse. I do like this music. Oh boy. Nope. Yeah, I glad this is only one of two segments uh, uh, from memory that have this little bloody horse chase. One here, I think one at the end. basically fucked me over completely. I can't take any more hits and I don't think I can do it perfectly at this point. Although that might save me. So you can't keep taking these risks. I hate to put it bluntly like that, but I don't know what is quite a red deal though. <coughs> Fear a old man in a profession where young men die early. What's the fun of that? Crawled out of its hole to die. Or something like that. Off. I can't remember the exact quote, but it's like fear, throw into the fear an old man in a profession where young men. Oh, okay. Where oh, young men die early or something like that. I was reading that quote the other day. I just remember it being a bit it, an interesting one.
This used to be so easy. And you used to be younger. Oh wow, I forgot they sort of changed the um the weapon menu. Uh what do I want? I want that. Oh, I'll stop what I was trying. Oh, wow. Okay. Right, I was trying to... I forgot to change the button for this. I was trying to push triangle earlier to do the eagle sense or whatever it's called. Oh, it's called the eagle sense. But I forgot they actually changed the buttons for it in this one. So I was pushing triangle and I was supposed to push L3. I totally forgot they just changed it out, out almost out of the blue. It's been triangle in the first three games prior to this. Four if you could four if you include bloodlines. Oh I can't climb right now, can I? Where's a haystack? Kill five guards from a haystack. It's the 100% completion on this. Ah, there's a haystack over there. Let's see if I can get guard load into that one. Guy just here. Come on, follow me. Come on, you want to follow me? Just a little closer, you'll find me. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, right. Okay, I forget that happens. Kill at least five guards from a haystack. I'm assuming there's at least another two guards here somewhere. If not, I've sort of screwed myself over. Go on. Thank you. Could it be that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? 
Or am I in charge of an army of drunks swinging sticks? Right this way, Ezio. Nowhere left to run now! Not for me. And not for you. Kill that dog! Cut him down! There's a reason why he's <laughs> why an old man like this has lasted so long. Like I was saying, fear an old man in a, in a profession where young men die young. Is there another haystack somewhere? If not, I've got a problem. I see a stack over there, and I see a guy just over there. So let's see if I can get in and kill that guy. Four, one more. I can at least get someone follow me. I don't hate these uh, controls, but I don't like that they've basically changed the formula on the wheel. Follow me if you want. I'm over here. Over here. Oh, I can't hunt. Come on, over here, over here, over here! Over here! <laughs> Come over here! Just here! Oh my god. Come on, no! Oh. Can't see. Where's he gone? You had to follow me to. You should have followed me to the. <sighs> find another one. I just need the one more. Come on, someone near, someone near a haystack, please. You, where are you guys? Follow me. Come on. Follow me farther than that, you... Come on, over here. One thing I want to try quickly. Um. Ah, okay. Shit, where is that haystack? Okay, the haystack's here. Come on, come on, 
closer. Come closer. Yes! Good man! Now I can continue like I want to. Killing whoever I fancy. Oh, I could have done it from here as well. Oh, well. Can I not target them? I cannot. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um, how do I climb up there? Well, oh. of course I can't target him. That would have made things easy. Yeah, you know, if you keep killing your own guys, who's going to be left for me to kill? I guess it's you. Gives a shit. Don't you ever stop howling? Yeah. I have no idea if this is supposed to be an actual person, by the way. Well, the old hound still has a bite. The book you carry, where is it? Nicolo Polo's journal. This will do you no good. Not now. We have found one of the Masyaf keys already, and are closing in on the rest. What is in that library is not for you, not for the Templars. Ah, you can have Altair's books, Ezio. We only want guidance. We only want directions to the location of the Grand Temple. Grand Temple? Tell me more, now! Requiescat in pace, bastardo. So, was there a guy speaking Italian then? Best of cold. And I got the club points as well. And that's your tutorial. What the hell just happened? You were snooping, wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a, a fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact, whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. So those two must be related somewhere. Best I can for you, so you can explore. Since they seem to have the same ancestors, they must be related somehow. 
Well, my guardian angel. No, there's no such thing. Yeah, I. <laughs> Thanks. Just, I thought he was going to have a plan to try and steal your body, but no, apparently that doesn't happen. So you act like you still have the. Sean, it's me. What's happening? Are you at the airport? Yeah, we're chartering a jet. Are you coming? Yes, yeah. I'll be there soon. Good. They... they buried her already. I heard. A little cemetery outside Rome. Nice place. Oh, God. Things got so fucked up so fast. Is Desmond still out? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of brain activity, but with the monitoring system shut down, we can't record anything. Well, keep me posted, okay? I'll see you soon. Okay. I think I'll quickly go in here, see what ha see what the setup is, and then obviously I think I'll end the street in a minute. Dear sister. Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself, but none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Nicolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. It's a shame you never see Claudia again. I would have liked to have seen what she looked like now. It's actually a shame you don't get to see any of the other characters from the Ezio. Apart from one, and that's obviously Claudia X Fiatse. I think he's the only character that makes it. Because obviously, technically, I think he's in the um, he's in the Leonardo disappearance. A magnificent sight. Which I didn't play in the end. It's a work in progress. Which means obviously he's in that game. Has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah, some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it, but your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si, I'm Otto Tempo. I left Rome as one of months ago, looking for inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantini is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me or... Uh, travelers such as yourself. So much work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were were mainly. Sir. Incredible! I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. <laughs> it was a pleasure speaking with you. Which Very now that I think about it, it's kind of sad because find something to hold your interest. His mother's dead now. I have faith I will. In fact. Timeline-wise, I think she dies before the end of Brotherhood's yeah, ending. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman, you are full of surprises. Who do you <laughs> see her die, friend. Brotherhood? Exceed all mine. I'm guessing. 
Hoş geldin kardeşim. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditori de la la la. Franco. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. So, quick question. In the first, in Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Sean was writing these um, little snippets. He's not here to write these these things, and no one knows what's going on with Desmond because obviously, as um, Rebecca pointed out, we couldn't record anything, so they actually have no idea what's going on. So, who's writing these? It's just something I just realised as I was. As that popped up, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Who's writing these? Oh, wait, isn't it supposed to be uh, Clay? Subject 16. I can't remember now. I'll have to look that up later. That's fine. Welcome to Galata District. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Guess in Likle. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. <laughs> oh, does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your holy land tussle with the Templar did not go unnoticed. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? <laughs> no, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. And with Sultan Bayezid on his way out, they may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one, two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan calls, <laughs> the prince between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell happened there? What the hell happened there? Um... What the hell? There! Another way! Where... Where have you gone? No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead! As are you! The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman you... soldiers have a special huh. loathing for these Byzantine thugs. You disappear. some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touching. It's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. 
It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. We're almost there. What this equipment way. you get in this game? I know you get the hook blade, and I know you basically get to make bombs. Is there something else new you get in this game? Oh, okay. Set the door. It's been a while since I've played this one. Mentor, say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers, our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. Do not worry. I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! <laughs> And you, Ezio, your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. What are you there? What was the, um... Oh, I forget this one takes longer for some reason. Oh, just a car... Quit. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, it's not Florence anymore, obviously. I will kill any who gets in the way. <coughs> Have you lost what your mind? Be gone, Tom. Good, you have to double jump from the start this time. That was really annoying last time. Brotherhood started you with it, then took it away almost immediately. At least you get to keep some of the equipment you would have, should have still still had. I mean, Ezio didn't have a climbing glove in Assassin's Creed 2, it was just a skill he had to learn. But for whatever reason, they were like, nah. Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. The Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cult of the last emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's your... 
Where is oh, your good. hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. Hmm. Okay. I think this is the only game that has the hook blade. As an extension of yourself, Ezio. Pretty sure you have to find all. Well, I don't know if you have to find all 100 of those, but I know you have to find a certain amount. So, you, what you have to get for Desmond's fragments. At least I think they were. You think I cannot make this one? Didn't break a sweat! <laughs> Wow, fuck. What an eccentric man. So from the looks of it, you have to buy stores again. <laughs> I can't, couldn't remember if you had to or not. I knew you had... Oh, well, go up. Go doing? up. Screwing this up. Oh, I'd like they've actually changed those civilian uh, talks. At his age, how does he do that? Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, at his age, how? <laughs> his age in this time, in this point in time, how would he if he's still five as a child or children? I believe he has two kids. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip by. Could have used this a few times in... Harika! Shahane! Harika! Yeah, definitely could have used that skill <laughs> in... All the other games prior to this. Okay. Let's see. From memory, I should be able to. Should I be able to do that just yet? I can't remember. Well, there's one way to find. Hmm. Or was that something that's going to happen now? You know, if it, if I can do it now, great. If I don't, can't do it now, then it doesn't matter. Obviously, I haven't played this one in a long time. I didn't even bother with it last year. 
Um, so I will be basically. Okay, so I can't go there. Oh, shit, that's fine. I guess I have to do the memory first. Yeah, at least when I got this game last year, I did. So I, last year I beat Assassin's Creed 2 again and I started Brotherhood and never finished Brotherhood. So obviously when I started the stream, Assassin's Creed 2 was pretty much still fresh in my mind and Brotherhood, I actually got a, I did get a good chunk of life. In fact, having just finished Brotherhood, I was probably only a few missions away from completing it last year. I just never got around to doing it. So whatever, but I still had a, vague memory of how the, the map layout was. With this one, I haven't played it since it first came out originally, and obviously I beat it back then, but this is basically me going back into this blind almost. <laughs> so it should be the fun. The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts, you see. The hook and the blade. So you can use one or the other. An elegant design. How about the bigger challenge? Hmm? Va bene, let's go. This should be fine. I wish they'd put the timer up on the screen. Having fun? That's right. Let the hook blade do the work. It's not much different than doing the double jump anyway. I mean, maybe you can climb up further. I don't know. Come on. Ishtebuile, throw yourself into it. I'm what in my sixties now. Or in my mid fifties now, I'm not sure. No, wait, he dies in his sixties, doesn't he? Oh, oh! Welcome to Constantinia. I failed it by Most like two seconds. Work. Many generations of men have ruled this city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Brace you to the bottom. Oh, you know what? Do um, I reset? It's me and Victoria. Oh, yeah, outfits. Turkish is so. Let's have a look. LT robes. And if you want the skin for the. the if you want the skin. For the armor I hated the design of. There it is. Out here. Mm, yeah, that's right. And do I reset the memory? Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna reset the memory. If I don't do it this time, it's fine. If I do do it this time, great. The fact that I only missed it by two seconds. That's what annoys me. Go, go, go. Having fun? That's right. Let the hook blade do the work. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. Ishtebuile, throw yourself into it. Uh. 
Ah, oh, son of a bitch. To get it, I can't bother to do it just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crossroads of the world. Many generations of men have ruled this city. But they have never seen her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Race you to the bottom? Yeah, yeah. Done. I'm impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. Yusuf, Chavuk Buri again! Uh, huh? An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for sword play? I do what I must. Good man. Uh, I guess I'm gonna accept it, aren't I? I'll finish this one and end the stream. May have happened. Oh wow, it's one o'clock in the morning, so yeah. When he I've been of running, playing for a while. Must take to the air. Watch. That time it didn't work. What the hell? Thank you. A Templar scout. Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar. You stay here. Do you see that tower? See, si. the Galata Den. Evet. I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hi there, Ascale. you know me I've literally literally just got to town now where was I going that's how wasn't it Ooh. whoa Oh, hello. I didn't even know you. Whoa! You could. Have... Oh, damn. You're very liberal with those bombs, my friend. As I am liberal with the sword.
Oh, wrong button. Rebuke, Sheriff Usta. Is Yusuf with you? An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. Oh, yeah. I didn't mind this so much. I thought it was an interesting concept, from what I remember. But it has been a few years since I've done this, so... We shall see. Okay, I'm just trying about What am I supposed to be doing? I don't remember. Ah, okay. I need you to hold that point. Okay. Struggling to remember how to do this. Stand there. I 
need you to hold that point. This isn't that difficult to remember exactly. Move your cursor over the Templar group and press L. Oh, okay. Like this. Like this. Oh, okay. It's a bit like the. Okay. Oh, okay.
Uh -huh. Okay, that seems simple enough for me to do. I, I got, like I said, I haven't played this game since I finished it when it first came out, so I sort of forgotten a good chunk of what, what was required. Send word if the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar then. Take a ferry across the Halic. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. But anyway guys, I think that's the end of the mission. Is that the end of the mission? Yeah. <gasps> no! Oh boy. I also don't like that they changed the shoot button from square to triangle. I just noticed that. Yeah, I didn't mean to kill her. But yeah, I'm going to end this stream now. And I'll be back sometime tomorrow, I'm sure. But yeah, for, for now, guys, I will see you later. Uh, bye for now.